Welcome back to Math to Find, your go-to channel for all things math. Today, we're diving into subtracting rational numbers. We'll tackle problems involving fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals. Ready to master this? Let's get started. A key concept in subtracting rational numbers is understanding that subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. Let's look at this first problem. Instead of thinking of subtraction here, think of adding the opposite. So instead of positive 5 elevenths minus positive 7 elevenths, think of it as positive 5 elevenths plus negative 7 elevenths. Then from here, we just follow the rule for adding numbers with different signs. Since the denominators are the same, we subtract the numerators, 7 minus 5 is 2, and we keep the denominator of 11. But since negative 7 11 has the greater absolute value, the answer is negative 2 11 Now let's subtract positive 3 fourths minus negative 5 eighths. Remember, to subtract this negative, we need to add its opposite. So we keep 3 fourths and then add the opposite, positive 5 eighths. Now, since the signs are the same, we add and keep the sign. Since the denominators are different, we need to find a common denominator. I'm going to use 8. Multiplying the denominator and the numerator by 2 results in the equivalent fraction 6 eighths, and we'll bring over the rest of the expression. Next, we add the numerators, 6 plus 5, and keep the denominator, resulting in positive 11 eighths. The last step is to simplify this improper fraction by dividing 8 into 11. 8 divides into 11 one time with 3 eighths left over. For the third problem, we have negative 1 and 3 eighths minus negative 8 and a half. First, we need to rewrite this expression to add the opposite. We keep negative 1 and 3 eighths and add the opposite of negative 8 and a half. Then we need to find a common denominator. I'll choose 8 again. Multiplying the denominator and numerator by 4 will result in negative 1 and 3 eighths plus positive 8 and 4 eighths. Since the signs are different, we subtract and keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. Subtracting the numerators, 4 minus 3 is 1, and subtracting the whole numbers, 8 minus 1 is 7, resulting in 7 and 1 eighth. The final answer is positive 7 and 1 eighth because positive 8 and a half has the greater absolute value. Now let's look at subtracting positive and negative decimal numbers. The rule for subtracting these rational numbers remains the same. We need to add the opposite. Problem number 4 is positive 2.4 minus positive 5.6. To solve this, we need to add the opposite. We keep positive 2.4 and add the opposite of positive 5.6, negative 5.6. Since the signs are different, we need to subtract and keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. Starting in the tenths place, 6 minus 4 is 2, then 5 minus 2 is 3, and we can't forget to bring down the decimal point. Now to determine the sign. Negative 5.6 has the greater absolute value, and the final answer is negative 3.2. Next, we have negative 3.1 minus positive 4.8. To add the opposite, we keep negative 3.1 and add the opposite, negative 4.8. Now since the signs are the same, we add and keep the sign. 1 plus 8 is 9, bring down the decimal point, and 3 plus 4 is 7, resulting in 7.9. Looking back at the decimal numbers, we see that they are both negative, so the final answer is negative 7.9. The last problem here is negative 45 hundredths minus negative 5 hundredths. Adding the opposite, we keep negative 45 hundredths and add the opposite, positive 5 hundredths. Since the signs are different, we subtract and keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. 5 minus 5 is 0, and 4 minus 0 is 4, and we'll bring down the 0 in the ones place along with the decimal point resulting in 0 and 40 hundredths. 
Now to determine the sign, we see that negative 45 hundredths has the greater absolute value. So our answer will be negative. And we don't need the extra zero in the hundredths place, so the final answer is negative 4 tenths. We've tackled some pretty tricky problems today, but you did it. Remember, subtracting rational numbers can be simple if you remember the rule and take it step by step. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sending a super thanks and make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share it. Until next time, keep math awesome.